I'm sorry? I need you to stop recording or leave my building. I'm gonna call the police if you don't. There's no recording at Postal Property. Do you have you heard about Postal 7? I, I, I am back. Yeah. Now at this point, if someone asks you to stop recording because they don't want to be recorded, okay. you should at least respect that. So I don't feel uncomfortable with you recording me. I understand you do feel so uncomfortable, you don't but. I want to respect someone else's wishes on top of that. Whether it's postal policy or not, you're still, I'm going to record because it's my right. It's also my right to ask you. So it I'm is. Consideration it is. I, I appreciate you asking. Okay, guys, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And go to We The Boss Boss's channel. I'll put the link to his channel in the description. He does very good work on dealing with law enforcement. Here's the thing. He has a right to film at a post office, and it's nothing illegal about it. The cops don't like it, so they get involved. And the fact is, they start lying on him, saying they don't feel safe with him being there, even though he's done nothing illegal. It's important that you know your rights while dealing with law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police because it is your first murder night to do so. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video as I do my best at additional commentary and narration. You guys have just demonstrated why I decided to come here. I usually don't go to post offices, but I have heard a lot of um bad reviews for this very post office and how they treat the public and they have shown exactly why that is ma'am you do realize you're a public employee listen don't, right? don't speak to me don't speak to me i'll speak to you when the police get here I can speak to you. You don't okay, have to. You don't I'm have to speak going, with me. Well, don't ask me anything. All right, I can ask you a question. You don't have to talk to me. It's it's your Fifth Amendment right to ignore me. That's okay. Do you have cameras in here? I see what I see a camera up there. So how come you have a camera and I can't have one? That, that doesn't seem fair. Yeah, I you, guys. It's not your fault. Yeah. Thank you for standing up to us. Ma'am, can I get your name? I saw you took a picture of me. Can I have your name? I heard you say you were the manager here. No? Yeah, so for for the record, it, it seems like they've stopped serving people just because I'm here. Um, I haven't seen seen one postal attendant helping someone um, for the past, I don't know, 10 minutes. So what, what they're doing is they're not serving the customers that are taxpayers because this man is filming in, in the post office. Now... This is a way for the staff to blame the cameraman and to have everybody turn against the cameraman. That's why they do what they do. They don't do it because they feel fear. They do it to have everybody turn against the cameraman. So they've all disappeared from their posts just because I am here. To observe public employees in the cause of their duties, this is the lady that i think identified herself as the manager and she's refusing to give me her name okay why why do you need me to leave the building why how am i just just by recording? Yes. Just by recording? Yes, just by recording. Where is your poster 7? Do you have a poster 7 on the wall here? I'm not going to answer any questions. Why, why not? Right How am I disrupting service? I am not, I'm nowhere near near the, the patrons. They literally stop services at the post office because a man is filming. This is a tactic. 
for the people at the post office and the police to turn to have everybody turn against the cameraman. They want to make it seem like it's the cameraman's fault that they're not getting their service needed. Unfortunately, this is unconstitutional. This ain't right. And I hope he does something about this. Hello. Uh, can you uh, can you identify yourself, please? Your name and your badge number. You can verbalize it. I, I think I thought your policy says you have to verbalize your name and your badge number. And why why can't I record in here? It's it's, a, it's a, which makes it public, right? Why are you recording? Because what do I need? I have to explain to you what I need here. Well, I, I have I have the right just to come in here and observe public officials doing their job. And that's enough reason. I don't have to have a specific reason to be here. I can walk in here and record public uh, employees during the course of their duties. That's been established by law. So that's simply what I'm doing. And I also wanted to ask her, ask her questions about the Poster 7, which is supposed to be on in every post office. She doesn't feel comfortable answering your questions. Okay, well, she doesn't have a choice. She's a public employee. She has a choice. Oh, wait, not she will. To oh, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. That's true. She has that that right not to. But I also have the right not to ask my questions. She can choose not to answer them, but I can ask them. And as a public employee, she should answer questions. If she doesn't want she to answer your questions. Okay, that's fine. Okay. She's asking you to leave. They feel unsafe. Ma'am, you don't have safe unsafe. Why? Because I'm recording. They don't feel comfortable with you. Okay, but their, their, their comfort does not trump my right. I have a right to be here. Okay, their feelings do not trump my right to be here and record and observe public employees in the course of their duties. So if you can explain to them that I have the right to be here as granted to me by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Okay, but they, they didn't even give me the opportunity to tell them what I needed. As soon as, as, soon as, as, soon as I walked in here, they were very aggressive. Get out of here without even asking me what I needed, what I wanted. And I asked her a question, where is your poster 7? That is supposed to be on the wall at every post office. It's 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 supposed to be on the wall. And she couldn't even tell me that, answer that simple question. She doesn't know. She should know. She's the manager okay, here. but she doesn't know, sir. Okay, okay. Well, if she doesn't know, that's fine. Maybe she wasn't trained yet. Maybe she doesn't know. Maybe she just doesn't know. Okay, well, I'm here to let you know you're supposed to have a poster seven on the wall. That's why I'm here. I want to. I want to see what the rules and regulations um, of the post office is when it comes to when it when when it uh, uh, pertains to the members of the public coming here to record. Okay. Well, right. What, what, so, what do you need? Do you need to mail a letter? Or do you need stamps? Oh no, no, I don't need any of that. I, I, I already told you why I'm here. Okay. I'm, I'm here to observe public employees right. and, in the course of their there's duties. There's nothing on the wall, so okay. you're making everybody here very uncomfortable. Oh, none at all. So they would like for you to leave. By me standing they here, they would like for you to leave. Okay, they, 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 there's there's so many things we would like do to you do. Want attention? Right. I mean, what, what is it? It's it's not, it's not attention. It's it's not attention. I just know, I just sir? told you. She doesn't know the answer. It's not there. Okay. I'm sure she can arrange the okay, well, answer put there. But okay. Well, right now at everybody is very uncomfortable. Okay. Well, with you and your filming. And okay. They, they, they feel threatened by this. They feel threatened? Yes. How, how do you feel threatened? By my by camera? Being here. You and your camera. Recording? Everything about you. Okay. Everything so about me is threatening? I need you to. She <laughs> feels can you, threatened, sir. Can you, can you explain that? No, she doesn't have to. Okay. She feels threatened. Well, well, yes, well, well, I feel threatened and I need you to leave. Now. Well, I'm telling you she has no authority to ask me to leave a public place. The only way I can be, the only way I can be trespassed from public is if I break the law. I haven't broken the law by simply standing here and exercising my rights. So maybe what you should do is explain to her that she cannot tell me to leave here because I have the right to be in here for whatever reason. And now, wait, can I finish? Can I finish? And now, let me finish. And now, one of the reasons I have to be here is I have to file a complaint against her. So I need a complaint form because I'm going to file a complaint against you. And then I need. It's crazy that women can make false claims against you in this particular video. She says she feels a type of way, but this man has done nothing to her to make her feel that way. I need a FOIA form so I can request your information. So that's my business here now. So I, I need you to take care of that. You need to take all of her because you are harassing me at this point okay. and I feel threatened by you, so you need to what you should be doing, uh, Wilson, that's your name? What you should be doing is telling her that I have the right to be here and do, and do what I'm doing. But apparently you don't know. 
Yeah, apparently you don't know. So you're you're either willfully ignorant or you're just all right. I mean so what are we doing? Waiting for your sergeant? So can you can you tell the world how, how I was threatening to you? I, I I can speak to her, ma'am. I can speak to her. It's I can speak to her. All right. <laughs> ma'am, you're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. I can ask her a question. She can choose not to answer me. That's fine. It's it's a Fifth Amendment right to ignore me. I'm I'm fine with that. I I love the Constitution that much. This is why we do this to teach teach public employees that members of the public have the right to observe their public servant during the course of their duties. If 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 we don't hold the government accountable, who will? And they've just shown exactly why I'm here. Because the reviews and the reports that I, I, I got about how rude the employees are here, they just proved it. Well, at least you, you ladies are smart enough not to threaten me with arrest and, you know, try to blatantly violate my rights like a lot of uh, law enforcement officers, or I shouldn't say a lot, many of them do. So the fact of the matter is, they're making claims against this man. She's saying she feels a type of way. And this is why it's also important that when you do these audits, you don't stop filming even for a second. Make sure you have more data to film with because they come out here making lies and saying you did something to her and this happening. It's just not right. And this video is this, this lady manager is just, it's just disrespectful. But this guy has kept his composure. He's been kind, respectful the entire time. And that's what you should be doing. The video doesn't lie, but they do. So I hope you enjoyed this video as I do my best at additional commentary and narration throughout the video. Remember guys, the police are not your friends. And I always tell you guys, it's important that you film law enforcement in the United States, always film the police. The sergeants here, they're talking about what to do. If they're good cops, they will leave this man alone. If they're bad cops, he will go to jail for filming in the post office. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is in society, uh, dealing with law enforcement, but you have to know your rights, man. Remember guys, these guys, these police officers, my friend, get back to the video, guys. And enjoy. Hi, sir. How's it going? I'm good. Are you the sergeant? Yeah, I'm sergeant. How sergeant are you? Oropeza. Good. What's your name? Sergeant Oropeza. What's your badge number? 1721. Okay. How's it going? Uh, it's going great. Other than the fact that I was being asked to leave a public place where I have the right to be. Okay. Yeah, just because I'm recording and I had some questions for the employees. And they wouldn't answer my question, which is fine. They don't have to speak with me. Right. But right. but they do not. They don't have the right to tell me to leave a public place as long as I am not interfering. Interfering. Into their, and I was just yes. standing on a corner recording, which okay. which is my right to do. Right. They, they don't like that, so they're asking me to leave, and they don't have the authority to do that. So they if, could ask you to leave, but you're right. You're absolutely. Yeah, they can ask. You are allowed to record as long as you are not interfering with their duty. Not at all. And right. The public. You know, the public also has to feel safe. Right, but, but oh come on, Sergeant, you know better. Their, their, their feelings, know. their feelings do not trump my rights. You know that. So, you're, you're smiling about it, so you know. But you know, yeah. we get calls and then this is what happens. Oh yeah, right? they, they can call and then and then I expect you, as you you seem you seem right now that that. So I will talk to them, yeah. let them know, right. but at the same time, it's going to be explained to them. Okay. You know, once that order comes out that you're trespassing, we are you are allowed to record okay. out here. I'm not gonna tell you that you have to leave in the, the premise, in there also. But 
in if there they also. If they want to say that they want to lock up for criminal trespassing, that's a whole different agenda. Yeah, but, but we're trying to avoid all of that, right? Right, right. So, we're trying to yeah. we're trying to avoid them, avoid, I mean, keep them from trampling on my rights. That's okay. the most important thing today. I mean, okay. to do here today, because if they ask me to leave here, they don't have an authority. The only way I can be trespassed from public is is if I break the law. The only thing that restricts members of the public from exercising their rights in public is 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 a is a, um, a court doctrine that's that expresses or says you know it, it, it says a lot about what, what you can and cannot do you. right yeah. time place and manner time which means as long as it's open for business place which means as long as I'm not in a restricted area and then manner the way I, I conduct myself as, the as, building as, I'm not sure they understand that you are allowed well to apparently they don't ma'am every single one of them have asked me to leave they don't understand that and that's part of why we do this i appreciate it right. thank you thank you for being professional thanks all right she's right there Sergeant? Sergeant? I think you're looking for her. She was the manager. I get it. I get it. I'm not trying to get anyone's private information. That's not why I'm here. And even if I did, that's not a crime. What's a crime is what I do with it. Right. Yeah. That's why you know. You have to handle it. Gotcha. Right. I'm giving you the opportunity. Right. So the fact is this, guys. The sergeant is way more professional. Even though she's saying lies too, but at least it's better than what we got before when those other two officers came. So clearly there's some sort of hierarchy that, you know, that has some level of good or maybe it's just because of the video. I don't know, but she did. She's doing a decent job, but let you, I'll let you guys decide. Actually, now that you're here and after we finish here and you let them know that I can do what I'm here to do. The only, the only other thing I need is I need to file a complaint against her. So I need a, co a complaint form. Okay. 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 But I can't. Right. But I can't complain. I can't put a complaint against her if I don't know her name. She wouldn't even tell me who she is. Okay. Education. I'm sorry. Oh, I appreciate it. You've been very professional. You've been very professional. I appreciate it. I'm gonna come to you. Are you from the station down the street? No, I'm not. Wait, what station are you from? Nineteen. Oh, Nineteen. Okay. I want. I want to come there and leave a, a, a letter of recommendation for you. Because not every time that you find law enforcement officer that understands the rights of the citizens and actually enforces it. So you're a star. And I want you to know that. Um, 
so I don't, whatever it is, just, just, call, just, name, just call me good, good, good citizen or, or, right. or we, we the bosses. All right. Yeah. Are you going to stick around or um, can you move out with me? Well, I'll leave after you. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'll leave after you. So, have you, have you been edu educated now? No. I don't, I don't intend to be here all day. Yeah. So you've given me her yeah, name. I've already given you your name. Her I name. already explained to her that because it is a public, a public uh, place. Okay. You have the right to be here and record. Us as citizens also have to understand that in public, you know, that's about to be recorded. You're a star. Take care. All right, but I, I will still leave after you. All right. Let me finish sure. talking with her sure. and then, yeah. You're welcome. So just look at my end recording. So, are you aware now, ma'am, that members of the public can record you while you're working? I'm. I'm not here to cause you any problem. I'm not. I'm not here to make your life any more difficult. Any yeah, more difficult. And and your your officers need to be educated too. Can you, can, you, can you talk to them later? All right. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you, Maria. Okay. So. Oh. So this is going to be a different matter. This is outside for my opinion. Okay? okay. So I'm going to have to stop talking to you. Okay. Do what you have to do. Okay. And then this is going to be totally, Personal. totally different. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. I can still record it, but I'll give you. I'll, so, I'll, I'll give you the. So it's a different, yeah. different matter. It's not related to Yeah, well, you guys are in public. Okay. But I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna to extend that, that, that courtesy to you because okay. you've been great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so Take much. Care. Have a blessed day, all right? You too. So here's the thing. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was kind of crushing for the sergeant. The sergeant. She was beautiful, man. And she had a great personality. She looked pretty nice. You know, it's crazy. See, you get more bees with honey than you do vinegar. If if you're disrespectful, you get more disrespect towards you, right? But if you're nice and kind and sweet and you're beautiful. Well, you're going to get a lot more attraction and you're going to catch a lot more bees with honey. Uh, check out We The Boss's channel. I'll put the link to his channel in the description. He does very good work on dealing with law enforcement. Here's the thing. Um, the cops, you know, the, the first two failed. Failed miserably. The first two failed miserably. I didn't like the way they were, I didn't like their attitude. I didn't like the way they were lying continuously. They failed. If it was up to them, he would have been arrested. Thank God there's a hierarchy. There's a, there's a, there's a higher tier of people that, you know, we can talk to. Uh, the sergeant did a good job. The sergeant did a good job dealing with the uh, dealing with the, the, the whole mess that was, those two cops created. And she and she was professional, professional, kind, and respectful. The only thing I would know that she did wrong was lie the first two times. But if you look past that, she did a good job. In my opinion, but I could be wrong. What do you guys think in the comment section? Let me know below. Uh, remember, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, man. Because remember, guys, it's the best way to get your videos out in the algorithm, and it helps the channel grow. Our goal is to reach 200K by the end of the year. I should have already been there, but unfortunately, you know, things do happen with the channel and then I'm on patrol. But like, subscribe, and share. I'm out, guys. Peace.